What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. We got What the Duck here helping us out, yeah, recording. I'm proud of this. <laughs> I did not tell him to buy this. I'm giving you guys a heads up now. You I like tried, it? I tried talking him out of it. By the way, its name is Mater. That's what I named it. So yeah, it doesn't have a, a, a tow hitch on the back or a tow boom or whatever you want to call it like the Cars movie, but I figured Mater fits this truck's name. We got Dippin' Diesel here. We got Millie Built over there, Greg Millie on Instagram, Millie Built. We got the old 51 B Series Dodge truck here. <laughs> you are pretty ugly. But we got you guys on a time lapse. We're going to get this thing off the trailer and start pressure washing it and getting it cleaned up because it is, looks terrible right now. Can you tell them to go check out the last video of us pulling this thing out of the barn? Yes, if you guys want to check out the last video, we got a Badland winch from Harbor Freight. And man, this thing is badass. You guys can check that out. We got the uh, hitch from Tractor Supply. Check it. But the actual winch, what came off? No, I didn't. It's like that. It's like that. It was pulled up like that? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it before. But yeah, this winch or this uh, mount for the winch is from Tractor Supply and it pivots on the Gator Made trailer that has the factory winch plate bracket on there that we got when we bought the Elite Series. Bam. Go ahead and get in it, Greg. Go ahead and steer it down. Yep. We're missing one on the other side. How Check them tires thing out. Go out. Good How lord. Thing go tires, yep. I don't know if she's airing up them things. I don't know if she can hold no wind in them. Yeah, we, we tried, by the way, guys. She definitely can't hold wind. We knew it would be a shot in the dark. All the other three tires did take air. Just this one didn't. All four of the rears, and that one over there did too. Don't let Master Splinter get you. That's what I'm afraid of, bro. I'm going to get punctured and infected. Go and hop on in, old Mater. Can't see shit out of that windshield. <laughs> All right, let her down. Let <laughs> her down easy. Oh, we're gonna have to get a new bench seat. That's like one of the first things we're gonna have to get to. A new bench seat. I don't know if the brakes work, honestly, so you better find out. Is there even brakes? I have no idea. We're gonna have what the duck hold the camera and get everything on record. I'm gonna be controlling the winch. Greg's gonna be driving. We got Jonathan. I don't know what he's gonna be doing. Probably just standing around like he always does. I'm like WD-40 in here. But that battery right there, that battery has sat outside for like four years, and it still works. Somehow. What did what it come out of? Came out of that 12 valve, the 93 12 valve I had, the 12 valve Cummins. Which, by the way, if you guys want us to come and swap this thing, comment it down below. Come and swap. Let me know. It's all up to you guys. 12 valve, 24 valve, 6, 7, whatever you guys want. I'm leaning towards the 12 valve, but you guys let me know. I'm going to your windshield for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you guys see me at a stoplight, five bucks, I'll wash your windshield. Yeah, The wheels freed? Look, they were dragging before. You can see on the trailer how they were dragging. They just freed up. They're spinning now. Oh, now. I don't know. They're still locked up. I haven't seen a spin up until that point, though. I thought they were spinning when they were picking it up. Are you on the brakes, Greg? There are no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> At least the steering wheel. Hopefully, you can get over this flat spot. That's where the trailer's dragging. Hey, turn the wheels to the left a little bit. These wheels are locked up. That was more. He knows what eat means. Come on, good boy. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Send it. Yeah, you're on the winch now. You're good. Ready? Yeah. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this part of the video. We will catch up with you guys tomorrow when we do our pressure washing and cleaning of the 51 Dodge. Old Mater, we got What The Duck, appreciate him coming out. Greg, of course, Dippin' Diesel, go subscribe to him. If What The Duck would make a channel, I'd say go subscribe to him too. I can tell you what wouldn't be on the channel. Mater. <laughs> it would be a 1931 Dodge. A 1931? It's a 1951. Well, the lighting's, the lighting's getting pretty bad, guys, so I don't want to do the pressure washing today. I want good lighting for the video and everything, so I'm going to go ahead and end it out for today. We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, so see you in the morning. Peace. Alrighty, guys, it is the next day, bright and early. We got the pressure washer already out. Here is the disaster detail of the day. Just to give you guys a quick walk around before we do anything, because I want a before and after. We got dip and diesel here. Spraying the WD-40 on the door hinges and the door locks. I didn't even realize it had locks, but it does have a door lock it's on only it. Only on the passenger side. There's none on the driver's side, which is kind of weird that they don't have a lock on the driver's side of the door. But. Makes no sense. But just to give you guys kind of a little sneak peek and preview of how bad it is in here, check out how dirty the dash is. The windshield is just ridiculously dirty. You had to spray some water right there just to even see yesterday when we were winching it down from the trailer glove box it'll be interesting to see how well this stuff cleans up you definitely have a work cut out for us we're gonna go ahead and toss out this seat and throw it out I don't think there's any repairing this or I just really don't there's just so much crap in here I think it'll just be easier just to throw that out but check out remember when Mountain Dew bottles used to look like that a long time ago you can see all the bolts and wrap poop I think what we're gonna do and there's spark plugs everywhere. I wonder if this truck has a spark problem. Yeah. I'm thinking it's got to. This, there's literally spark plugs in the seats. Like, everywhere there's spark plugs. I mean, you got like two or three in here. You got one, two, three. It's four. insane. Just everywhere you look, there's, there's spark plugs. So, it could have a spark issue. So, we'll find that spark out. Plug, but. Been on the phone this morning trying to get some engine bay, engine bay parts, so just to get this thing running, it's missing a couple things. We'll go more into that later in the next video, but we're going to use a probably a broom to sweep out a lot of this rat poop, and then I think we're going to move into the shop vac whenever we can, but we're definitely going to be masked and gloved up. We're going to be wearing gloves and masks because I don't want to be in here stirring this stuff around with a broom and not have a mask on. That'll be really, really bad, so... yeah. Check out that back glass. Of course, we got to get it replaced, but we are going to clean it up and see how well it cleans up. I mean, just everything about this truck is sat for 32 years, so, and it worked as a peanut truck on a farm. We're going to try to clean it up best we can today, so yeah. let's do it. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams 
to know the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore There are a lot of voices Drowning in the sea Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid done with the initial wash and spray down I'll show a picture on the screen of the before and after so you guys can kind of see what it looked like before but kind of looks the same pretty much just got a lot of rust on it we got a lot of the chunks of just old dirt and stuff off the rear axle just trying to get this frame ready to sand it down or sandblast it whatever we decide to do we haven't quite decided yet uh, we're leaning towards sandblasting because it's kind of really really bad we don't think we'll be able to wire wheel brush this off we got a lot of nastiness off the paint but it still doesn't look that good we think it was red before I think it was red because when you wet it when it was wet in the video you could kind of see red yeah, there you go. It's like it was I red and then someone painted over green. Like they painted green over the red. So the green's kind of wiping away and then the red's Yeah, showing. the green's definitely on top. But I do know they made these trucks, a lot of them, in red. Damn, that's expensive. Oh, that's water. No, this is water. How about to say, hey, damn. Car how about to say, dude. that ain't detail spray, is it? <laughs> good Lord, you over here wasting. <laughs> I was like, good Lord. No, I forgot that one was empty. But, but yeah, man, we're about to move into the interior. You guys already know what it looks like in here. We'll show you this side. We showed you the other side before. Already starting on some uh, taking the seat out, but.
Yeah, the headlights do look pretty good. Headlights do actually look pretty good. They don't look too bad. But the body's in decent condition. Yeah, there's no dents that we can see except for... There is there is dents in it. Uh, the roof? There yeah, the roof is really dented. The cab corners are dented up a little bit. We do want to do flatbed this thing. So if you guys can make a flatbed, let me know. I'll put a picture on the screen what I kind of want it to look like. If you guys know how to build flatbeds, let me know. I wanted a flatbed, obviously wood, to kind of fit the uh, era, but the sides can be steel, painted gloss black, and nice treated uh, lumber on the bed of it. I think that would look really sweet. So if you guys can build something like that or know somebody who can, let me know. So we're gonna jump into cleaning this interior out, guys. We got our work cut out for us. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, smash the like button, and we'll see you here in a minute. what you think we just got done with our disaster detail we got pretty much everything out of the interior the headliner the floorboards the carpet there was so much freaking rat shit in here oh my god we were scooping it out with a dustpan and it took us probably a good two hours just to get the rat crap out of here but we are getting everything ready we think we can get this thing started for tomorrow's video so we're going through lubricating everything we got to do a service on it so I'm gonna outro this video now that was the disaster detail. We got everything cleaned up. Now what we're gonna do is get this thing started. So that is gonna be the next video. We're starting on it right now, guys. So make sure you're putting those push notifications on so you get notified each and every time we upload a video. Yeah, so we think this thing is gonna start. Caleb was talking to a specialist on uh, these trucks and he sent him over, sent Caleb over an email with the wiring diagram for the whole truck. So with that, we may be able to get it started tomorrow. If everything goes right, cross our fingers. Uh, we should be able to get this thing started.
so. Yeah, I'm thinking so, guys. So make sure you're staying tuned. We're going to be uploading videos every single day on this truck. I really do think she's going to get started. And we're jumping in right now. We've already started taking some things apart, getting some things cleaned up to get this thing started. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in tomorrow's upload. Peace.